Dota 2 is really hard to play with a mouse and keyboard. You fucking what? Alright, listen here, you little shit. Games are designed to play best with their input device. Halo plays well with an analog stick. Dota plays well with a mouse. So, what's it like to play with a Steam controller? I don't know, I didn't have an issue with it, did you? I took Lena mid against Pudge, which should have been a slam dunk for me. It was a disaster. Okay. But did you try binding the camera to your analog stick? The mouse-like trackpad works well, and the analog stick has a good camera control. Oh. Okay, so why were you having trouble? Once I found a rhythm, I could help in team fights. Oh, so you just jumped in and used the laning phase to practice with the controller. It's hard to watch teammates, and mobility can be a real problem. Let me stop you right there. Camera to joystick, mouse to right pad, right click to left trigger. Use this to look around your immediate surroundings with joystick. Then use this in conjunction with the right pad for getting out of tight spots. There you go, three inputs for 90% of the game's functions. And you won't even need to think twice about setting up your next move. Here's where things get interesting. We're gonna use the left pad as a second mouse. Left pad's click is right mouse. Right pad's click is left mouse. Sounds backwards, right? That's the idea. Why? Using two mouse inputs means we can use less surface area on both pads. So when one thumb needs to lift off, the second thumb can already be in the process of making smaller or larger corrections. This takes some getting used to, but your brain should be able to take a back seat while you focus on your abilities and items. So what do we do about the six slots for our items? Well, mode shifting, naturally. You can bind these to whatever you feel like, but I used right bumper for the activator and threw a directional pad on my left trackpad. I bound my items in game to one through six, and the D-pad on the Steam controller hits one through four starting at the top and going clockwise. What about five and six? I sent those to the grips. Okay, well, what about a character's abilities? I've left those on the face buttons. Do you like a hero with more than four abilities? Mm, sorry, can't help you there. I only play right-clicky heroes. Because we have two different click inputs on the triggers and two different mice, it doesn't matter if our thumbs are on the analog stick, face buttons, or either pad, we can achieve everything we need to in the game at any given time. It's really just unreasonable to expect that the gamepad will keep you competitive. No, it's not. There are a lot of people out there that have more than 30 minutes to get good. In four months, you're going to see YouTube videos of users at a 5k MMR level with this controller. Okay, well, maybe six months, but it's possible. Here's what I mean. I live stream often. I just finished a 12-hour stream using only the Steam controller. About five hours of that were dedicated to Dota, and the most memorable game was one that lasted for 60 minutes. It was an intense back-and-forth tug-of-war between the two sides. There was not one moment that I thought, we would have won already if I was using a keyboard and mouse. However, I won't say that I play just as well with the controller as I do with the keyboard, but my ability to perform with the controller is definitely comparable. We ended up winning, thanks to Shadow Shaman's excellent strat calls and Spectre making all the right plays. It was an insane game. Statistically, I've already lost 70% of you after the two minute mark. Well, that's a shame because we're just getting started. ARPG time. Using what we've learned above, ARPGs are a good way to practice your skills in a stress-free environment. We're using the dual pad setup for torchlight like in Dota, left pad click controls our hero's direction as it's bound to tilde. Right pad click attacks enemies. Like Dota, the dual pad mouse setup allows us to use less surface area, and because of this, we won't need acceleration for either pad. This is the most accurate navigation that I've seen on the pads, and playing the game this way was an absolute breeze. Click to go here. Click to loot this urn without getting frustrated. Uh-oh. Batty behind you, whip around with both pads to get Mr. Skeleton hiding out in the corner of your screen. Now, I haven't really played enough Torchlight to tell you how easily this works in the late game, but when starting out, there were several moments that felt so natural, I could have sworn the game was made for the Steam controller. It's a similar feeling you have when playing a twin-stick shooter on a traditional pad. It works so well, you just kind of forget about it. Shift is bound to left grip, so we can quickly swap equipment or plant our feet in the world to turret. Hot bars 1 and 2 are bound to the left and right trigger, 3 and 4 are on Y and B, and our recovery pots are on the bumpers. Again, I haven't played enough torchlight to see how much of the hotbar fills up with skills or items, but I would imagine setting up mode shifting, like in my MMO video, would suffice. I didn't have any issue with misclicking or becoming frustrated because I had overshot my intended target, be it a smaller enemy or an urn off in the distance. Menu and item navigation is flawless with the two trackpads, and comparing stats, swapping gear, or socketing my items was as natural as it would be with a mouse. I can't speak well enough about this configuration. I'm kind of gushing here, but if you have a Steam controller and already own torchlight, fire this up. Give it a go. It's well worth it. Dota 2 is really hard to play with a mouse and keyboard.